Speaking of print on demand sites, do you have a favorite? I know you're on T Public, Redbubble, Threadless. It, it, do you have a favorite, or you like them all for different reasons? Yeah, uh, this this three, but uh, I have to say that my number one is. Hey everybody, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. I'm here with Eduardo Eli. Hey Eduardo, how you doing? Hi. Edu. Uh, he told me offline his his name is his nickname is Edu. Is that right? Yeah, Edu is Edu? so much better. Yeah, so much better. I'll, I'll, yeah. Hopefully, I remember. I'll, I'll say Edu. It's it's a lot easier to say than Eduardo, so it's good. A lot shorter. I'm gonna read Thank a you. bio for those that don't know Edu. I'm gonna read what he does. Um, you've probably seen his work without even knowing that that's what it is because it's so popular on some of these sites. Uh, Eduardo is an illustrator and designer from Brazil. He's been working with the print-on-demand market since 2017 and now has a studio called Edu Ali with seven more people working with graphic design for several clients and also t-shirt designs for clients and his own brand. The studio loves to work with different styles from cute things to evil things. You can find Edu Ali on TeePublic, Redbubble, Threadless, as well as daily shirt sites like T Fury, Other Tees, and Shirt Root. Edu, thank you so much for being on this interview. Thank you for having me, Jonan. Oh, yeah, anytime. I, I love your work. I reached out to you on Instagram. I saw all your posts. They're so, so good. Uh, great thank designs so out there on T-shirts. Um, and so I, I knew you had a lot to share um, with my audience. So I wanted to make sure that I, I could interview you and uh, let people learn how you do your things and, and learn from you. You have so much experience. I, I think it would be great for my followers to learn from you. Yeah, I think you have a lot to share. So Thank you. I hope it uh, turns out okay because uh, my English is not very good and I'm kind of nervous. But, oh, uh, don't be yeah. nervous. You're great. I, I we've been talking uh, for a while before the interview, and I, I think I think we got it. You you're doing great. So thanks so much Thank for you. for doing this. I'm gonna. That's I have good. a bunch of questions for you, uh, if you're okay with me asking them. Uh, the first question right. I think that most people want to know, uh, and I want to know, is what got you into designing T-shirts. Well, Juna, uh, I started making design uh, for T-shirts, I believe it was around 2012, okay. with uh, contests from sites like uh, Threadless, uh, like Designed by Humans. Okay. Uh, we had a, a store here in Brazil called uh, Camiseteria, mm -hmm. who used to run contests like this. And uh, it was great because uh, it was generally free themes on the on the contest you know and i had the chance to develop myself and uh, learn every time uh, i didn't win any of the the contests really but, uh, but the defeats uh, taught me how to work how to work with t-shirts how to work mm -hmm. uh, with uh, less colors uh, silk colors uh, how to make mm -hmm. compositions how to make uh, uh, t-shirt designs you know Yep. And uh, after I graduated from college, uh, I didn't uh, do a, a design college. I I did an advertising college, uh, publicity. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and I went to work uh, in agencies as an art director and uh, crit creative director. And I left this uh, T-shirt business uh, for a while. I just uh, okay. kept doing some some freelance works for a few companies, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so after some time uh, working on agencies, uh, mm -hmm. I was going kind of uh, crazy, uh, stressed out. Yeah, from, a lot of work. From working. Yeah, from working yeah. in this uh, toxic environment for me with uh, toxic people and deadlines, uh, you know. Yeah. And I wanted to work from home or, or from anywhere. So uh -huh. for me, everything happened in the, 
kind of uh, together. I left my job, uh, my wife left her job, and uh, I started do, doing some freelance works and I started to, to get some uh, t-shirt designs work too uh, from Tobias Fonseca. Mm -hmm. uh, you know them. He, I heard right? them. I can't put yeah, the. You, you I, I know the name, but I can't put the graphics to the to the person right now. But yeah, I, I know the great artwork. Yeah, he is great. You should uh, call him to to get. Yeah, him. maybe the next interview. That'd be good. Yeah, and uh, well, uh, my wife and I took uh, what we had at the time, uh -huh. and uh, bought an an old car, an old truck. I don't know how to say yeah, truck. the car truck <laughs> uh -huh. and put a, a tent uh, on top of the truck and decided okay. to travel for 42 days across the wow. South America. Across Brazil, around Brazil? No, no, uh, across uh, Argentina and Chile. Really? Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, uh, a lot wow. of uh, good things happened in this trip. But uh, yeah, I bet it was very um, liberating because you were in the business of go, 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 advertise, and now yeah. you're free. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have, we also had some uh, bad surprises. Uh, <laughs> back in uh -oh. Chile, the the car engine broke. Oh no. And we have to kind of live there at the car repair shop. Really? I don't know how to say. Yeah, yeah. So the where they shop. fix your car. They need to fix your car, yeah. right? Yeah. We don't uh, had enough money to pay a hotel because the, the trip uh, was ending at the time. Mm -hmm. You were thinking you were going to be back home by then. Yeah. Yeah. And then we we stay there for 15 days. Wow! And we spend the Christmas there wow. with the with the family of the owner of the car well, nice. shop. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was great. And uh, but uh, we didn't have had enough money, and uh, I managed to work from there. You know, I, I yeah. put myself into a little office and uh, uh, with my notebook, my old notebook, and I could work. So I realized I could work from anywhere and I put myself really into it. And then uh, I have to thank uh, Tobias and Bruno from Illustrada too. Mm -hmm who helped me a lot to get in this market again. They present me all the things, uh, the day you say you stores, the print on demand uh, and uh, everything. So I'm very thankful for them. Wow, what a great story. I love that story. Um, Thank you. That's cool. So you like you took a chance, you went on the road and then you kind of almost had to feel like you needed to do this, right? You almost yeah. felt like you were. That's forced right. to kind That's of right. go all in because this is like we got to get back home when I need to work. I need yeah. some money to get fix the car, fix the truck, and get back right. home. The best and thing luckily, you had a couple of people did. that would help you out and um, get in. What a great story! So you went back. You were doing t-shirts before, went into the advertising business, uh, and then got back into t-shirts um, because of the That's situation right. you were in. So what a great story! And That's and right. learn from some of the like the people that you said the mentors. To help you and yeah and yeah it's it this yeah. two uh was kind of a mentor to me i'm very yeah. thankful for them yeah how cool what a cool story um well second question how did you come up how do you come up with your designs your designs are so original and um just well thought out and just look great on t-shirts what kind of research do you do how do you come up with those design ideas well, uh, first of all, thank you. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Uh, this answer is uh, always changing for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have so many I different use... designs, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
at first I used to do a lot of research in every store. I used to browse the the best selling design is in stores oh, like the public uh, red mm -hmm. uh, threadless to find out what sold best mm -hmm. and i also tried to find out uh, why that one design sold well you know it okay. was because of because of the idea because of the quality of the design because of the composition or if or, or if the the seller was already a big seller, you know. Mm -hmm. So I researched it a lot before I even uh, start any design. Okay. And uh, today, with uh, with my team, things are more uh, automatic. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, like Pinterest boards for everything, and uh, oh, we because you've done the research, so much research, you already know kind of. Yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. What to do next? That's you right. probably have a list of things to do next. Absolutely. Yeah. And we have uh, research uh, of our own designs. You know what mm -hmm. is, what is selling good and what is not selling. And uh, we have a lot of uh, organizing ideas because I have uh, other people bringing the ideas too. No, not just me. And uh, actually, we we. We actually uh, sell some some designs with the ideas too for some clients because oh, we have okay. uh, so much ideas. Yeah, and uh, I have I have this girl who who works with me and uh, organizes everything, and uh, she brings a lot of ideas too, and good ideas. Nice. So you have a because you have such a, a group a studio you can kind of brainstorm. Uh, with each other and, yeah. and get more ideas that way. That's great. Um, so this kind of follows into my next question. My next question is, is very similar to that. How can new designers who are just starting out figure out what to sell or what would sell um, well for them? Should they do like you're doing, do the research or is there something else? Yeah, uh, research, uh, absolutely. But uh... For that question uh, is uh, just testing, you know. Test. For me, it was this way: uh, test, uh, test, test. Uh, so, are you are you saying they de design a bunch of things, put it out there, and see what sells, and test that way? And yeah. then, if something sells, do more of that one, and then put other That's things right. out and just That's test. Right. Yeah. Of course, uh, first you do the, your research, but then you have to test. Uh, you have to put it out there. Yeah, your yeah. your first design won't sell, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, like for me in the day you saw star, day you say you stars, uh, for example, my first approval uh, was a coffee design. Okay, with a, a character uh, inside of a mug. So for the next designs, I used this one as a reference. I put a. Uh, a lot of uh, characters inside of inside in a inside of a oh, mug too, okay. and I've got more approval. Yeah, it works. And for for print on demand, I think is the same thing. You know, if you sell uh, some birthday design or some unicorn design, you need to make more of that. Yeah, if it works once, it can probably work again, right? Yeah. Yeah. What a great idea. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people are probably uh, scared to push it out there. They, they want to know right away some guarantees, but there's no guarantees. You have to, no, you have no. to put it out there and, and figure it out if it works for you. And yeah. then, then now you have the data to back it up. Then That's you're, right. you're more likely to sell those that you have the data from. So, yeah, great answer. Right. Great answer. All right. Uh, talking about your studio, you have a studio now. You started off by yourself. We, we have that story where you, you started in Argent was it Argentina or Chile or in the yeah, car yeah. store, right? in the car repair store. Yeah. And then and you grew, you, you did it by yourself. And now you have a studio. Um, what made you want to start a studio with other people? Well, uh, this happened kind of naturally. I guess I had a lot of uh, ideas and wanted to produce more. And I'm not uh, good with anatomy, you know, uh, the, the fundamentals of drawing. And mm -hmm. I 
spent a lot of time uh, doing the sketches yeah. of the designs. And uh, I was really good at, at uh, finishing the designs, you know, the composition, the colors, and mm -hmm. get the design ready, done. So I did a test with, uh, again, test, test. Right. I did a test with, uh, with a designer who, who did this, the sketches really, really fast. And I finished the design and it oh. worked very well. And I, I did, I did it with more people and I created a, a kind of a methodology for the process, for the whole process from the idea to finalization and uh -huh. upload of the designs. Um, today we are in eight people working together with uh, client works and some some graphic designs work, art director works, and of course the studio stars too. The t-shirts part too. Wow, yeah. you guys do a little bit of everything. That's cool. So it kind of was like you said, a natural transition. You wanted to scale up and do more, and you found That's a way right. to kind of make that happen. So. Um, yeah. Someone does like yeah. the beginning sketchy part, and then someone does the kind of com yeah. kind of complete it together, and it uh, gets faster. Yeah. After a, a time, I I teach some of uh, of the designers to to put the colors, to separate the colors, to finalize. But uh, uh, even today, I I touch everything oh nice uh, I, still, wow. I still touch everything uh every kind design of approval of, of yeah, if it's good. yeah yeah I, I need to i need to touch you know yeah 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 i, I makes try sense. to i try not to but uh i still need to touch that makes sense well the studio is in your name edu ali that's that's you yeah so you have to kind of make sure you you see it right yeah so, yeah in the in the like in the stores, like in the print on demand and the daily stores, uh, we have to keep on the same style. So I have to mm -hmm. touch everything. Yeah, yeah. It's your brand. It's your brand now. So you have to keep the the same That's right. consistency That's right. of style and, and things like that. So people know when they see it. Yeah, this is, this matches what their their brand's about. So great. Right. Yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, that's a great segue. Uh, I know that you're like you've been an art director and, and you have a studio, you run a studio. Uh, so I'm excited for this next question. Uh, what are some basic design tips new T-shirt designers should know if they're just getting into the business, starting out? Are there some basic design tips that you can you can share with them? All right. Uh, design tips. I, I think I have more. Yeah. more more general tips you know yeah uh, like uh, like uh, as i said the, the test before test uh, yeah yep. first first of all and more important is uh, be patient uh, i mean mm. really really patient uh, mm -hmm. don't try to rush things more than is natural you know this is something i would say to myself in the past uh, because now i see that uh, Things really happen with, without uh, skipping steps for me. Mm. And the uh, second one would be uh, learn a little bit of everything, uh, like uh, learn composition, learn lettering, learn drawing, mm. how to texture, how to research, how to organize yourself, how to organize yourself financially to mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of everything will help you to grow uh, your business, your style, your sales, your yeah. work in general. Wow, and, those are great. Uh, for, for my third one, I guess would be uh, not just learn, okay? Uh, yeah. Start start doing things too. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know, mentioned that you're gonna have to do something. Yeah. Yeah. I I know uh, many people who who buy uh, one uh, course after another and spend all the time studying and studying and no time doing. 
Mm-hmm. And, uh, then they don't evolve. So right. yeah, take your time studying, but take your time doing it too. This way we will uh, actually grow. Wow. I think it's three. Yeah, those are great. Those are great tips. Yeah, I think a lot of people, mm-hmm. like you said, they they either they try and just jump right in and, and don't, le- I mean, you know, not learn anything and think that they're going to make sales yeah, yeah. or it's, they it's, hold back and don't risk. do anything. But, so you kind of have to do both, right? You have to learn yeah. um, and do and, and keep going. Wow, great yeah. tips. Um, tell me more. I, I talked about this in the intro. Um, there's those print-on-demand sites that I think everybody in my channel knows about, you know, T Public, Threadless, Redbubble. But I think what's not talked about a lot at least on my channel and in my group, are these uh, daily sites. So uh, tell us more about the daily t-shirt sites and how they work. The daily sales stores uh, are different than than Uh print-on-demand and are more like uh, more uh, artist places, I think. Okay, it's more for artists. Yeah, Uh, there are some different kinds of stores like... uh, like Pumpling, uh, QWERTY, TT, uh, Shirtwood that work on a kind of a voting system, you know. Uh-huh. So you put your design there and people vote to choose which one will be on sale one day. And then uh, this one day will be in a promotional price and the artists will get... Uh, like one dollar for sale, or every site is different. And how many sales do you get typically when you when you if you win and you get voted up? Do you sell hundreds of shirts on that yeah, one day? I, that depends too. Uh, now it's it's weaker. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When I started, uh, was the the climax, I guess. I don't yeah. know the exactly word, but. Uh, now it's weaker, and uh, but I can get like uh, two hundred or wow or one hundred. That's still pretty but good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For me, it is, and uh, and uh, I think the media, no, no, the media, the average, average uh-huh. is like uh, fifty or seventy dollars. Okay. Still not bad for one T-shirt, one design, one day. Yeah. That's a that's, pretty good one-day right. sale. Yeah, yeah. And there are uh, some stores like uh, T Furry and other T's and Ripped that uh, you need to send them the designs, and they okay. choose they want to sell. Okay, so uh, you don't know if yours is going to be on sale. They you send it to them. And then yeah, if they, they decide do. to pick yours, then they'll send you an email or some kind of thing like yours is going to be on sale That's today. Right. Or yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hi. Wow. And, and there, there are uh, the Yeti too. That the Yeti. Yeah, very, I heard of that one. It's a very cool store and they chose too, but uh, it's a, it have a kind of a unique style and I, I found it mm-hmm. pretty good. But uh Every store has has its own style, you know. You have to learn yeah, so you have about to kind of every learn store. Their, what they like, what their audience yeah. likes. And again, uh, you have to test. Test, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. T- keep yeah. testing. That's great. Uh, I'm gonna put those links uh, in the description, uh, and yeah. maybe around here I might show them. I can send you the list, but but uh, there are some. Oh, great! That would be great. And then I think more yeah, for my, my followers, because I, I don't think I talk about those enough. And they're mainly for, like you said, mainly for really good artists, right? They can design because the competition's a lot yeah. higher. It's like kind of like Threadless where, you know, yes. kind of good artists, they, they want to pick kind of the best art. It's usually not That's just right. uh, text on a T-shirt, right? It's like artwork work right. on a T-shirt. So, yeah. and, and there is a, a, a store, a site for specific themes you know like uh, uh-huh. yeti it's more like a gaming vibe and okay. there are like, like a t villain it's more like a horror vibe or okay 
I, I find I found uh, one site that one daily site that uh, is just about cars, you know, oh, or wow. just about foods. Uh, oh, nice. Only researching. Yeah. So say. if you like those things and are designing those kinds of things anyway, you might as well try your hand at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. a great idea. Great idea. Thanks for sharing about those. I'm excited for people to learn about those a little bit more. I, I haven't entered any of those personally, so it'd be fun. I, I should try it out. But speaking of print-on-demand sites, do you have a favorite? I know you're on T Public, Redbubble, Threadless. Do you have a favorite, or you like them all for different reasons? Yeah, uh, this these three. But uh, I have to say that my number one is T Public because T Public. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because Why do you like T Public better than the rest of them? It was uh, where I started, and okay. I got my first sales. And makes uh, sense. The people there, the staff, uh, really helped me in the time. Uh -huh. And my sales are still consistent. Still? In, at uh, T-Public? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, I awesome. think it's the, the best one for me, is T-Public. And the, the others would be Threadless because of the community. And uh, yeah, it used to be better in the past. But mm -hmm. uh, it's still a great place for artists, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, and Redbubble because of the the audience and the, yeah. the traffic, you yeah. know, uh, uh, more people entering the store, more chance for you to get a sale. So I Correct. think yeah, this three. Yeah. So they all have their pros and cons, uh, or pros of, of different reasons why they're great. Yeah. Uh, that's good to hear. T Public. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I like really, I really oh, like it because uh, the. The upload system is so so great. It's, That's true. Can to upload, upload a t-shirt, uh, upload a design, yeah. it's real easy. Yeah. Yeah. Every store uh, should uh, do the same upload system. I agree. It's, it's so it's really easy, good. and to and to see all the colors, I wish you know. Yeah. Redbubble. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they don't let you pick the colors like T Public does, but. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So. I <laughs> I don't do the the uploads now it's my wife that uh, works okay. with me too uh -huh. but uh, but uh, i heard uh, she's saying uh, tip public is the best uh, yeah and very time. quick and you can bulk upload too so you can like yeah, yeah. if you have 10 design or more you just throw them all on there and they'll just come in order and i, I like that idea too that's right so, that's right yeah good good stuff all right um what other products do well for you besides t-shirts? T-shirts are probably the most popular product that you sell. Do you yeah. sell other products on print on demand? Yeah, I I have to say I sell, I sell some prints or, or posters. Prints, very yeah, well. that makes sense because you have such good artwork. Yeah, because the 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 format is it's almost mm -hmm. the same t-shirts. Yeah, the me. tall rectangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my designs fits uh, well. Uh, yeah, I sell some mugs and phone okay. cases too, and pillows. But uh, okay. a lot of my designs doesn't look good on on them, you know. Right. Like uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like the cases, for example. Uh, I have to reduce the design to fit in the okay. in the case, uh, or oh. cut some parts because of the cameras and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and my designs uh, have a, a typography or lettering, and if mm -hmm. I cut uh, a word or some kind of word, uh, the, the whole design is uh, losing lose the idea, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to create a, a design uh, specifically for the the product. I am. We are made making. Uh, a collection for just for cases now. Oh, and really? For I, for phone so, cases? Yeah, oh, for testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To make sure that it that's, works well on the phone case and it, it looks good and everything works with the yeah. design. That's smart. That's right. Yeah, very good. Um, let me see. Uh, what applications do you use? We talked to Bruno 
and I think he uses Illustrator, if I'm not mistaken. What do you? What do you I, use? I don't think so. I don't think so. What do, What does he use? Uh, Photoshop. Oh, Photoshop. That's right. It was Photoshop. Yeah. I knew it was Adobe. Adobe product. Uh, yeah. Do you Do you use Photoshop too? Yes, I use uh, basically Photoshop. Uh, and and now, you have, like, Bruno, you you do it on a big tablet with the no. Um, no, I, I I actually tested one and I I not uh, enjoy you know. I, so are you doing I it with a mouse, mouse and keyboard? No, no, no. I use with a tablet, but it's this one. It's really oh, old. the Wacom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have a pen, but it's not not like Bruno's where you see the screen. It's just yeah. It works on your monitor. It is a really really old uh, tablet, but, <laughs> but it works. It, get the work done yeah i use uh, i use photoshop and i uh -huh. use procreate on my oh iPad. and procreate yeah it's uh, because it's more uh, like uh, comfortable you know I'm more uh -huh. to draw to paint i can draw lay down in my bed so procreate on an ipad yeah procreate on an ipad it, nice uh, for lettering and uh, it's uh, it's better for me but uh, the final design, uh, it's always in Photoshop. Uh, okay, so you start, I mean, you start final... on the iPad, procreate, and kind of add the, the final touches in Photoshop, maybe the uh, layers and the uh, textures and those kinds of things. That's right. In Photoshop. Uh, nice. My team uh, uses uh, Illustrator or what is his name? Paint, Paint 2, Sci. I guess. Studio? Okay. Well, um, I don't know exactly the name, but uh, doesn't really matter uh, the applications. You know, uh, you yeah. should work uh, where you feel more comfortable. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you, you, it probably all goes through uh, Photoshop to save it as the PNG file at the end anyway, and then. Yeah. Right? I, and uh, the day you sites uh, working with uh, Silk Screen some of them some of them uh -huh. and then you you have to separate the colors you separate, know yes that's true then colors this in photoshop you do that process, through photoshop, photoshop as well. is easier yeah mm -hmm. that makes sense that makes sense so some of the probably some of the daily sites because they print it they screen print it right so you have to separate them yeah yeah that's right makes sense all right well good to know uh Tell us more about, so you showed your tablet, and I'm excited about this question. Tell us more about Project Let's Grow, where you're donating tablets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the thing I'm most proud of now. Uh, a year ago, I had this idea of the donated uh, one drawing table to artists who couldn't afford here in Brazil. Wow. And uh, I took this idea to, to my team uh -huh. and uh, the girls who work with me uh, really embraced the idea, you know, and turned it into a, a, a really project, into a, a project so itself. Cool. So I talked to my artist friends like, like Tobias and Bruno, and we uh -huh. managed to donate three tablets in the in the first edition wow and we had a lot of uh, sub subscribers in this project and we realized how there were a lot of good artists here in brazil uh -huh. who couldn't afford to buy one so in the next edition we we managed to donate 10 tablets and the next was uh, 20 and the next wow. uh, 26 and the uh, the last one, I think, was uh, 28 tablets. So, wow. Yeah. So total, project... you, you donated almost 100. Is it more than 100? About 100 already, huh? Yeah, about 100. Wow. And, and the project is still growing, and I'm very happy with it. The, we are, we are all now in the, in the final stages to turn the project into a, a NPO, I guess, the uh -huh. non-profit organization. Yes, yeah. To to bring more money into it, you know, so uh -huh. so we are grow even more, and I am 
really excited about it. Yeah, and you're helping the artists of the future. To, That's right. To do more and more, make sure that they, yeah, they have yeah. the... Um, and these artists uh, things, yeah. will help, will help uh, another artist, you know? Yeah, yeah. They just pay it forward kind of thing. They'll help them and they help them. And what a great That's idea. Right. Yeah, I'm going to put you. the link. You have a link to that, right? To uh, yeah, yeah. Let's Grow. I'll they, make sure to put that in uh, the description if anybody's interested in that. That's such a great project, such a good idea to help the you, uh, artists. Uh, struggling artists to get started because you know how it was in the beginning. You you told your story right. uh, and That's you were right. working um, far away anywhere and uh, it could have really helped as well. So, uh, so nice of you to give back. Uh, speaking yeah. of the future, uh, future artists, my last question is this. What do you think we will see in the future for t-shirt designs, designers? What What does the future hold for t-shirt designers? I don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I it will change? Know. Do you think the I print on demand, because it's always changing. Uh, and yeah, yeah. We can, guess, we can kind of guess what uh, changes will, but do you think it will be better or worse than it is now? Is it going to be harder because there's more competition? Uh, do, you, yeah. do you think some trends, different trends are going to pop up? This this market is, is uh, every everything is changing always. Yeah. Right, uh -huh. but uh, I can predict that uh, the competition will increase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can say that uh, there will be more resources for uh, those who are not designers. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, like uh, like templates, uh, ready-made templates, you know, or maybe even some AI, like. Uh, how can I say? Uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah, AI. Uh, yeah, yeah. AI. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, we will have some store uh, with some kind of AI that yeah. the, the customer will will browse, will search for for some topic, and will sh the AI will make the make the design. Oh, that's interesting. And that could happen, including yeah. The, excluding the designer, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm only I'm only 5 years in this and a lot a lot of things has changed. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I can say that uh, anyone who doesn't follow the changes uh, can be left behind, you know. That's true. That is something true like we um everything's always changing and so we have to change with it if, if this is yes, the right. new trend or if this more people want this or people are looking yeah. for this certain thing we we need to kind of follow kind of pivot and move yeah. it's never yeah. yeah it's not getting easier never yeah yeah good good i i like that answer well thank you that's all the questions i had this is the end before i end is there anything else you want to talk about or say i, I Floor open to you. Where nice. where can people find you again? I think I told everybody to to look on uh, T Public Red Bubble. I have your two uh, things down here. You got Twitter and Instagram. If people want to follow you, what's the best place uh, they should go? Where where should they find you? I think it was it is on Instagram and Instagram. Uh, maybe my personal Instagram. If okay, uh, I'll put that down anybody uh, has a doubt or something uh, that I can help, I'm open. Oh, you, nice. you, you can send me a, a message. Uh, I'm, I'm very open to answer. Wow, and, so, uh, yeah, you answered my DM when I, when I yeah, uh, that's asked right. for you. And, uh, yeah, this, that works, this, yeah, this interview, I, I never did anything like this before. So I... This was this is the first interview and uh, in English. Uh, and I in never English, yeah, your second imagined language. doing something like that. Yeah, you uh, did so great. It was it was really a, a challenge for me. I hope that uh, it uh, the people can learn with this and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
Yeah, you gave so many good tips. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I think it's going to help my followers a lot. And uh, of course, anybody that's watching that's not my follower, I'm, I'm sure they, uh, if they want to learn about t-shirt design and things like that, uh, how to get into the business and and different tips. I think this will be really be helpful. So thank you so much, Edu. This is I this thank is, you, Juna. This is great. Uh, I'll see you uh, on Instagram. Yeah. Bye. You too, Juna. <laughs> bye bye. See ya. See ya.